Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit different for today. Um, as you can see, we're not really recording anything in Pro Tools today. But um, what I'm doing is recording the audio, and uh, you have kind of the audio for a little talkback channel that I have set up here. And uh, mainly what we're going to do is we're going to play back a 30 second snippet of the 10 to 15 minute theme song that I'm working on. Um, you know, and I think it's, you know, it's, it's a really cool section. Um, you know, and it's got a lot of moving parts. A lot of them are kind of duplicating some of the same, uh, sounds and doing some of the same things. So there's a couple of different drum kits. There's some massive X, uh, bass, and there's also some guitars that we recorded and a lot of this, I put this arrangement together just, you know, for this purpose, uh, for, um, you know, the, on, on the episode where I recorded the guitars, which is number 113. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a mix down of this song, and I'm just going to start by kind of listening back to the audio, and it'll be kind of hard. I was doing some testing on this, and just you'll just have to bear with me. I know it'll play on one side of, of the ear, I think, which will sound a little weird. And, you know, it used to be like the Beatles where the voice was on one side, the music was on the other. It's weird. But I'll do an A-B comparison at the end where I'll actually sub in the stereo file uh, at the end with, a you know, an A-B comparison of kind of the work I did today and, and how it sounded before versus how it sounds after. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by playing back the track in just loop mode and, uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add in the, uh, G master bus compressor. <laughs> I mean, already right there, I like it, um, you know, with, and I tried to make it where the makeup gain really wasn't doing too much in terms of adding volume, so I may change that later, but right now it sounds plenty loud, I mean, at least to me, um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep the volume consistent between bypassed and non-bypassed, so just to see if I can really hear the difference. <laughs> Yeah, that's already doing a lot for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and accept for, well, let me just break down how I have this set up. So um, I recorded a contact kit a while back, and all of that is summed up in uh, these channels. These channels, um, let me go ahead and solo this as well. These channels here. Okay, and then um, I also 
then have a machine uh, drum kit that's kind of playing the same thing. And I'm going to use kind of a uh, or just mess around with a technique that uh, Matt Lang was talking about in a recent video where he kind of blended an electronic and acoustic sounding drum kit together. So I have this more electronic sounding drum kit from machine. So just doing a, a you know similar beat, and then um, I have a recorded on two separate episodes actually a, a, a kind of a crunchy bass and a deep bass from Massive X. So that's just a crunchy bass by itself, and then the deep bass. So if you hear them together. Right here, I think I like, I think I like this in the center already. So widen this up, and that, that doesn't even need all the way wide. You know, I think it could be wide a little bit, but um, so yeah, maybe at 25. But keep the keep these in at just off center for me. I think sounds the best. That's the bass, and then we have the guitar section, which uh, recorded on episode 113. So that's going to need some tweaking, and I'm going to kind of tweak these section by section. I'm going to tweak these kind of section by section. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to treat this like an SSL desk. So I'm going to go ahead and add the SSL um, channel strip to all of these. So, um, we're going to start there and we have, we have them on all the channels now. Um, and essentially what I want to do is just pass through all the tracks and kind of do, um, you know, a gut feel for how I want each track to sound from an EQ perspective. I may add some things, I may take some away, uh, but, you know, certain, I'll just say certain, you know, elements like a kick or a snare, certain elements have a sweet spot. And, to, you know, finding that sweet spot sometimes is taking things away, sometimes adding things. And the SSL is really good for not giving you a visual or graphical way because that can kind of be tricky sometimes and, and just forcing you to really listen to, uh, you know, what sounds better and what sounds worse, essentially, from a mix standpoint. So, I, you know, I've seen a number of videos uh, on this. I've used this technique before, uh, and I'm trying to get more into doing this, which I, it's not really, honestly, not really one of my strengths. My strengths is creating the music, not necessarily mixing it down. So the goal of today is to have this sounding better than it did when I started, and it already does with the bus compressor. It's going to with, with the EQ as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and solo the uh, contact kit, and we'll just kind of start there. Uh, we'll just go down the chain.
already sounding a lot more focused. There's no frequencies that are really annoying me. So I'm just gonna return this. I mean. Let's see. Let's give that a little compression. like that, a little compression. Yeah, that kick's already sounding better. Let's move on to the snare.
already feeling that. And then um, we're going to move on to the machine drums. So take all these and solo. Let's turn the analog on. That's what I've been doing. And I'm going to keep this going. And what I'll do is, um, you know, this is going to take take a little take take a little bit of time. But what I'm going to do is uh, put an A-B comparison of the uh, pre-SSL mix and then post-SSL mix. And the goal is to, again, just kind of get it a little more balanced, a little bit better sounding than it did originally. So uh, on that note. Until next time.